Now, the last part of this section, we're going to be looking at what if I have more than three terms? We're going to be doing this by grouping. So looking in my example A, I have four terms. I'm only going to be looking at the first two terms. The greatest common factor of the first two terms is a two. I'm going to factor out a, a two out, divide both terms by two, and we're going to have two minus q. Now looking at the last two terms, let me factor out a negative 3p. I'm going to divide both of them by a negative 3p. Notice I'm dividing by negative, so don't forget to switch the sign. I'm going to have 2 minus q. My factors inside the parentheses do match, so my factors at the end, my two factors will be 2 minus q and 2 minus 3p. Now, looking at examples uh, B, looking at the first two terms, let me divide both by 4 k squared. My greatest common factor in this case is 4 k squared. So 20 k to the third divided by 4 k squared, I get 5 k. This Let me come back here. So I get 5a plus 1. Looking at the last two terms, let me factor out a negative 9 out. So I get 5k plus 1. My factors at the end will be 5k plus 1 and 4k squared minus 9. Now, whenever we have our factors on the inside, we have a squared our letter has a squared. We have binomials. Try to look for the uh, special cases. In this case, 4k squared minus 9, I can see that as a difference of the squares. right? I'm looking at this as 2k two k all squared minus 3 squared. So again, I'm looking at that as a difference of the squares. So my answer at the end... The 5k plus 1, my first parentheses, I'm not going to do anything to it. So 5k plus 1. Now my last, my second parentheses, I'm going to split it up because I have the difference of the squares. I'm going to split it up as 2k plus 3 and 2k minus 3.